planted a couple rows of trees around the perimeter of the field on the sides that were pretty much wide open so that over time it becomes more secluded. I've planted hundreds if not thousands of trees over the years. This is the first time I've used plugs uh, with this auger setup. It worked pretty slick, went pretty quick, but the trees did not turn out the best. I ended up replanting a lot of them the next year using uh, bare root stock. Next thing we're gonna do here is uh, spray the field, get it ready so we can plow it, disc it, plant. Uh, soil test is into the system, so I should get that back in about a week or two. See how much lime and fertilizer we need to apply. So, got the old candy on this time. And uh, rock solid. North Star Sprayer. I'm spraying your typical mixture of glyphosate and water to kill just about anything in this field. I kept going back to that one side of the field due to the wind. I didn't want any of the overspray to blow on me. You don't want that stuff on you. Going for round two. fill her back up probably put only about 20 gallons in this time first time I had about 24 25 it was almost maxed out I sprayed two more applications of this throughout the summer due to my circumstances I wasn't able to plow until late summer early fall soil disking worked way better than this cultivator I went back to disking the uh, winter wheat just came up today after last night's rain 
just basically getting it prepped for next year's corn planting, hopefully. This next little clip I'll be dragging in the lime while smoothing it out, getting it ready to plant the corn. So I failed to operate the camera while planting corn. But here was the setup. Old chain driven metal wheel John Deere corn planter. Just had the setup. My brother's been keeping up on most of the maintenance, or my father on the tractor and the old equipment. Doing a good job of it. So yeah, anyhow, planted almost two acres of corn on that new field. Was finally able to do it. Wasn't able to get to it last year, but see if we can see some rows popping up soon. Here's the field. I planted yesterday. Just beat the rain. Supposed to get a lot of rain today. So I was happy I was able to get her done. Sprayed the corn yesterday. Today I'm uh, top dressing it. Some triple 19. Gonna get a nice downpour tomorrow morning. Should soak in the fertilizer tomorrow morning. This is what it's looking like right now. that should kill all the weeds off in a few days and then the fertilizer will jump start, jump start that corn a little more I ended up putting about six ton of lime on this field uh, the lower part of the field did require more lime than the upper part of the field the lower part of the field pH was starting at 5.4 so this should bring it up good King cutter to spread the lime. A general spreader, but we used it for spreading lime. Uh, the top half of the field, we use this for spreading more of a garden lime that we got in bags. The next year we bought some egg lime and we tried spreading it in here and it just packed in there. There was a pretty high moisture content in it when we got it. So we ended up spreading about four ton of egg lime with a, with a shovel. It wasn't fun, but it only took us about an hour. So this is what we used. Near the end of this video, I'll be going over my actual soil test results that I got back from the county. This is what it ended up being. I do anticipate the lower portion of the field to come out a lot better this next year. The lime will have had time to establish itself in the soil. Looking forward to it. Here's a good example of a soil test when you get it back. This is the results. On here you'll see that the field was pH of 5.4, recommending two tons of lime per acre. For example, if you're using a lower concentration or quality of lime, it's two tons per acre. If it's a pretty high concentration of lime, all you need is 1.5 tons per acre. So. You'll have to know what kind of lime you're getting. Uh, you know, there's garden lime, there's egg lime. In this project, I've used both. What I also like to do when I fill out these soil tests is put on there an option for corn and soybean. That's kind of like the two opposite extremes and nutritional needs that your soil will need. That covers most of your different types of food plot that you'll be doing. Um, you can see overall it's very low on phosphorus, potassium, and the pH so I got to start working on the soil pretty hardcore over the next couple years bring it up to the optimum position right here different plants need different nutrition for example the corn needs a lot of nitrogen 
um, while your soybeans doesn't need any nitrogen. So look up what kind of plants you're planting and fertilize appropriately once you get your pH to the correct level.